Hey guys, happy Christmas, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all of the fun above. And if I forgot it, sorry, I don't know all of them. <laughs> we are shooting my holiday update, if you couldn't guess. I mean, no, obviously, obviously this is bikini season, right? You like the bikini? Bikini's nice? <laughs> We're all decorated, the lovely Christmas tree. I've got my presents, which you probably can't see right now, but you'll see in the pictures. And we are decked out in Santa attire for a fun Christmas shoot. Now, Christmas has always been a big deal for me because, I don't know, I come from a family where Christmas is kind of a big deal. And PC's family, well, his mom is Mrs. Christmas. She usually starts decorating November 1st, and it takes that long to get it all up. <laughs> so, yes, Christmas is usually a big deal around here for us. And I usually like to make my Christmas shoot something extra special and fun. We usually wrap an entire wall, wrap half the guest room, and just kind of make it really epic. This year, I wanted to do a Christmas tree because it's been a while since we've done something with a tree. And I got a new tree, so I felt like it was kind of the right thing to do. I will let TC talk to you in just a moment about what the equipment is we're using, and I will put pictures up of what it is so you guys can see a little bit better because we've got some new fun equipment that we're using. But first, let's talk about the outfit because, you know, why, can't, why not, right? <laughs> of course, extended versions of this video, other try-ons, and just fun things that can't be shown on YouTube is on my Patreon, which you guys can go ahead and find above or at the end of this video. Now, what am I wearing? This is a sexy woman's Santa negligee. Kind of Christmassy, kind of lingerie, but fun. The panties have the same white uh, feathery, furry accent, but they're a little not PG, so I won't be showing them to you. Sorry, guys. Now, I did have to enlist the help of my lovely flesh tone bra to make this YouTube appropriate, which you guys don't mind, because all the real fun happens on Patreon, my dot com, and OnlyFans, so you guys know you can check that out there. I really like this outfit. It is a small, which is my usual side for a negligee. I love this cut of it. I've got this in several other colors, green, and I've had it in blue, and now I have it in pink. I kind of like it. <laughs> it has a slit down the front, which is fun for flowiness. It's long enough that it covers booty, but kind of gives a great little shape in the back. It hugs your curves and opens up. Same with from the front, it hugs just below your breasts, along your waist, narrowing you, giving you this lovely female shape, which is just fabulous. It is available on Amazon. This was a gift from Matt, so a great big thank you to Matt. Was looking forward to for this shoot for a very long time. I've had this for a while. So finally happy I get to shoot with it. The shoes are pleasers because that's how I roll. <laughs> and I had to add a little, butt, a little boot tops to make them very Christmassy. Kind of in love with them, not gonna lie. <laughs> the bow is made by me. Materials from, well, Michaels. <laughs> yes, very crafty sometimes. And that kind of does it for the outfit. Now, for the technology. Ooh, take it away, TC, while I van a white to nothing. First of all, excuse the audio. My voice is probably gonna sound a little bit uh, far away, echoey, because we are recording this with a Zoom F1 field recorder. This is, a, this is a new thing. We've had some audio issues in the past and we're hoping to you know, fix those issues. So basically we have a lapel mic that is hanging from a stand with a huge long arm so it can get out, so the stand can be out of the scene and yet she's got a little tiny lapel mic hanging essentially from the ceiling right above her head about three inches out of frame. So that gets her voice nice and close to the microphone. I'm, you know, probably about 10 feet away, so I'll probably be, sound very echoey. Um, but either way, uh, the camera we're using to record this on is a uh, Canon M6 uh, Mark II. So this is a little mirrorless camera, uh, perfect. We've got a little um, Sigma 16 millimeter f 1.6 uh, DGDN lens, which is very nice. It goes nice and wide. Love it. And uh, we're lighting the scene, so the background is all blown out. It's it's nighttime right now, but you can't tell because we've got white curtains drawn and a couple of big ring lights blasting that white curtain with light. And uh, I've got one more ring light sort of faced towards the back of Katie, and that's just going to give her, if she moves back a little bit, you'll see a little 
um, little over the shoulder light, little hair light. So that's where we're going to be doing photos is right, right in the door frame there. And then of course, four big ring lights that are just set on almost nothing that are illuminating the front of her. It seems nice and bright, but that's because we've got the uh, aperture set at uh, f1.4, which is a very fast shutter speed, and, and that gives us lots of light. Ta-da! <laughs> there you guys have it. Now I let TC cover all the technical side of stuff because I will just tell you, we have a Canon camera. It's pretty. <laughs> Not quite. I know more than that. But, you know, I don't know the ins and outs. So that's TC's jam. So if you'd like to check out the photos, the fun video, the extended try-on, you guys know where to go. Click that picture of my face somewhere on this screen or the other picture that is for Patreon. Or you can check out the other videos for other awesome things you'll find on my channel. But no matter what, don't forget to click subscribe because you're going to miss out on all sorts of awesome things if you don't. So happy holidays, guys. Mwah. Lots of love. See you soon.